Hello. <laughs> Today we are at Disney Springs because we are here to see Luca at the AMC. There's the girl. That girl, I yeah. I forget her name. <laughs> we have seen this movie before, but it was not in theaters because of uh You know that everyone that, got that a cough thing. a while ago. We're yeah. not allowed to talk about. No, what are you gonna do? But because it's Tuesday, it's and also five dollar fan tuesday at amc so the tickets were super cheap and so you know now we can spend all of our money on food that's the best part but yeah so we are gonna go see luca and then i think we're gonna take a walk around disney springs and see what we can find it's a super gorgeous day out and so and it's quiet here it actually is there's like nobody around so super nice but yeah movie let's, time let's go see the movie and they even have a big poster and a bigger poster. See hashtag Luca at hashtag Disney Springs. <laughs> All right. Silencio, Bruno. Let's oh. go see the movie. This is a dine-in theater. We don't have dine-in tickets, but we have done the dine-in and it's amazing. And it's freezing. Yo, it's cold in here. You're right. And in case you're interested, this AMC even has a bar in it. So that's awesome. I want to blast my taste buds. What is that? Uh, Ecto Cooler? Oh my god, what if it's Ecto Cooler? Like the IC? Might be. Let's go find out. It might. Fun fact, when I lived in New Jersey, I actually worked for AMC. It was okay. nowhere near as big as this one, but uh, yeah, I don't think I miss working at AMC. It was a fun job, but I like the free movies and the free popcorn. I don't know what the wild robot is. I haven't heard of this at all. But there's little space otters. You probably should see it because of that. Absolutely. I mean, it could be a cute movie. I don't I don't know what it is. Two movies that I am so excited for. Twister and Inside Out 2. No, there's uh, one more. What? There's one more. Okay, what? Show me. What the heck? They're coming out with a Garfield movie? Yes. <laughs> okay, we have to well, see it. we'll see all three of those movies opening day. <laughs> Who's, uh. Oh, it's not. Uh, who it's played probably... Garfield in the original? I don't know. This oh is probably God. like Chris Pratt. I can't I feel remember like Chris who Pratt was. plays everything. But whoever played Garfield in the last movie, he was like, that was the worst role I've ever done. Oh it my sucks. Oh, God. Let's go to the lobby. Let's go to the lobby. Let's go to the lobby. Deadpool? Sure. Yes, I guess so. And another Kong movie, that's what we need. No, we don't. I'm so excited. I didn't think you'd get this in a theater. This is sick. <laughs> Alright, so now Wait, we've reached the concession. You can get pickles. I don't oh, want pickles. No. So you can get hot food that. and popcorn. I want mozzarella sticks. Yes. 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 I find it to be really interesting that they have a grab-and-go section. I don't think I've ever seen that at any other AMC. So, <laughs> when me and my sister were kids, we saw the Spongebob movie, the first one, when it first came out. And I guess, like, our mom forgot to pack this, like, little voucher thing that allowed you to get popcorn or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. near, like, the last ten minutes of the movie, me and my sister get handed these two small little white boxes of, like, <laughs> old popcorn, oh, with, like, like mostly caramels. No. Oh. It was just like, oh, you were forgotten. Here's your popcorn. Oh so now, every time I come to the was theater... Was it, like, a field trip? Yeah. Oh. And every time I come to the theater, I make sure to get stuff. Because I'm like, that's never happening to me again. Oh, we're gonna load up on food. Absolutely. <laughs> and popcorn. Let's get this one. And then of course because you're at the movies, there are so many candy options. We're really trying to cut back on soda, but you know, when you're at the movies, you gotta get it. Also, no, this is not all mine. Ethan and I are gonna share the drink. There aren't many things better than movie theater popcorn. Sorry, not sorry. Also, he did not end up getting it, but they do have the Ghostbuster Slimer's Back Icy. Still don't know what flavor it is, but it's very green. This is everything we ended up getting. Yes, we are kind of fat. We haven't eaten lunch, and so, you know, it is what it is. We got a lot of food. And I'm gonna be honest, this costs us $40 for the food. But the tickets were 10 for both of us. Yeah, so I mean, it kind of balances out. It's fine. All right, let's go, movie. I'm not, I'm not. Okay. 
I don't know why, but this movie theater is screaming at us. So you probably can't hear me at all. But also, we're both a little upset. We didn't realize these weren't recliner seats. And so yeah, that's a little sad, but it's okay. Also, don't judge us, but we brought our own candy. But it's fine because we bought food. Don't try this. I know you can achieve it. Please welcome. There's a movie as about as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We're gonna see this. Oh. I'm gonna Garfield. name you Garfield. Oh, he's so cute. Hello. 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 Oh, yeah. No, our old TV was kind of little. Yeah, and so I got, my ears are ringing. That theater was loud. I know. I don't know why they had it on, like, full volume. And as soon as we walked in, it was just like, Hello, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. No, it was really cool. Yeah. So now what do you want to do? I don't know. We're going to go walk around Disney Springs and find something. Yeah, let's go. Right. part about coming out of a daytime movie. Oh my gosh, the sun is so bright. Where are, hello? <laughs> I can't see. Uh, hello? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> this is Disney Springs' newest restaurant, Summer House on the Lake. A and chew. they, bless you. And they have a cookie bar. We have yet to try this restaurant, but that is definitely on the list of stuff to do because I've heard very good things about it. Remember when we got cookies from them before and we just forgot that we bought them and they went yep. to waste? Whoopsie. So we're gonna try again and actually eat them. Yes. And now I want to show you guys the most devastating place in all of Disney Springs. The Disney Springs food truck place. The most devastating place on the planet because right where this green truck was, they used to have a mac and cheese food truck and they got rid of it and it was the saddest day on planet Earth. Actually, I think it was there. Close and they enough. replaced it with some stupid juice. Both of these are new and they're both not mac and cheese and I hate it. Now we're going to go into Star Wars Galactic Outpost. It's a cute and kind of creepy little Ewok. Now is this the bucket hat for me? I'm gonna try on bucket hats until I find a really cute one. Do you like your bucket hat? It's got ears, it's pretty sick. So you always do to me. What do you have? Oh, that's kind of cute. This thing is, this is just a toilet. A toilet? Yeah, look, it's all brown inside too. Ew, what the heck? I thought you were going to say a toy, not a toilet. It does look like he has poop behind him. Should I get one of these cheaper lightsabers for Star Wars Day? Or should I build, ow, stop hitting me with it. Or should I build one? Uh, build one. Yeah, this sucks. I mean... It's like $200 to build one versus $45. I mean, this isn't bad for $45. This is actually not like cheap and flimsy. We'll see. Some of them? Yeah, we'll see. And now we're going to walk next door and go into Disney style. I kind of like this t-shirt. Oh, another bucket hat. Sick. No. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really love this hoodie and I kind of want to own it. You look so stylish. I figured it would look cooler with that hoodie though. Yeah, it would. I'm sorry, but this seems really impractical. I don't think I would carry this around just to have my headphones in it. So now we're going to go into the Coke store. There's three levels of stuff to check out, so let's go see. 
and there's little penguins up there. Oh, I want one. Amanda, we're getting a penguin. And there's clothes and clothes and pajama jams. We have pajamas. We have these. Yes. Yeah, we do have those, but we don't. We don't have these. No, we're not getting those. Yeah, let's just wear those all day. That'll it's be great. Florida. I don't want to wear this warm stuff. Yo, little penguin man. And then they have folk from all over the world in different languages. That's pretty cool. I want this. What about the Japanese one? That's cool too. Look at all the bucket hats. Yo. So many buckets. I like this one. Oh, yeah, it's in all the different languages. This one has a bottle opener on it. For opening soda. Duh. Yeah. Oh, it's a Coke store, so yes. Howdy, partner. How cool do we look? Cool. Are we hat people? I don't know. I'm not this hat person. <laughs> I'm a hat person. No, I'm not. <laughs> Let's go see what they have upstairs. Whee! I don't care. It's a surprise. Now we're on the second floor, which is home to some of the home stuff. We actually have some of these glasses. And lots of mugs. We have these classic Coke bottle glasses. Oh, we don't have that cool, dude. Drink out of me, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, I like these straw dispensers. And now we are on the rooftop of a Coke store, which is a Coke bar. They used to do alcohol, but then I'm pretty sure they lost their liquor license, and now they can't do it. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but I do really like this spot up here. Um, we're not going to get a drink just because we already had soda today, but um, yeah, I will show you. Not. No. But I will show you the view from up here because it's really nice. I feel like you can actually see pretty far out while you're up here. That's Planet Hollywood. There's the AMC. You can see the balloon over there. It's just, it's really nice up here. I like coming up here when the sun is setting. It's just really nice. I think I already said that, but I mean it. One thing I don't think I'll ever get used to coming from New Jersey is the fact that you can just get a beer practically anywhere and carry it around. Look, a mixed drink. Like, it's like just weird to me. Yeah. In New Jersey, that was not allowed at all. We're gonna go take a walk through Zara because we never go in there. There's probably a reason we never go in there, but uh, we're gonna find out. This is the perfect store. If you want to look like a ninja, she's even got a black belt already. That's awesome. Am I getting old? Because I think this is really cute. It's actually pretty sick. I do like this a lot, actually. Yeah, I wonder if it comes kind of with um, ibuprofen. Oh my 600s. god. Or you could dress like Jay Leno. No. Or what was it, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake? Okay. Man, beauty standards are crazy. Look at this guy. You kind of look like him. <laughs> you can pull it off. Hit? No, but you can pull it off. He's solid. Man, Zara reminds me of like if Forever 21 had like an older brother. This is where he would shop. Escalators! Yo! <laughs> Yo, real Ghostbusters. That's sick. And now we're at Ron John. Whee! I've been going to this store since I was like five years old. And like all the sex wax shirts, Rip Curl, Salty Crew, Quicksilver. It's like all my favorite brands. And Hurley. But the skim boards are really cool. And this is what I used to shop for all the time when I came to Ranjan. The long boards are the best. I have a few at home, but sadly I don't ride them anymore. And they have like everything you need for swimming, surfing, just being outside in the summer. Oh, and these little animals are cool. So they're called follow. And you can like track a real shark. So when you buy one of these, they send you a code, I guess, and you can track a real shark in the water. Or a little kitty. Turtle. 
a polar bear, a little giraffe, and a yo. I'm gonna convince Amanda to get this. I'm gonna try a penguin. What'd you get? I found this tie-dye shirt. I have this shirt Super in every sick. other color, so I figured it was time to buy the blue. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I really like these follow bracelets because each one you can track an animal with. Like, I think that's so much fun. Um, maybe I should get one. And for only $16.95, that's really not a bad price. Looks like you can track dolphins, a sloth, ooh, a penguin, a shark, a turtle. Ooh, if I show Ethan this, he's gonna make me buy it. Look, you can track a penguin with this bracelet. You're not gonna believe this. What? I've recorded a penguin plush yeah. upstairs, and I was like, I want to track a penguin. Oh my god, I knew <laughs> I knew if I showed you that, you are going to make me get it. Yeah. Oh my god, so are we getting it? It's penguin tastic. It's only $17. Oh, it's not bad. So, all right, we'll track a penguin. We also got this air freshener from my car, because every single time we come to Ron John, we get the exact same car freshener, and apparently we got two. Yeah, <laughs> it's the best flavor. It really is, coconut. Smells like the beach. And then we actually did end up getting the bracelet. So I will show you guys how that works. All right, so what do we do? We got a tear to meet our animal. I don't wanna, I'm afraid to like. Oh, you pulled that little card out. Oh, uh, I was afraid to like rip it. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So we got this little booklet. Oh, we gotta go and scan the app thing. We just gotta scan the QR code. Oh. Oh, we have a penguin! Hello? Where is he? He's in the ocean. Did oh he get eaten? What's he doing? Hello? Oh, okay. Oh. Whee! Come on. Okay. Oh, careful. <laughs> nope. Okay. We can do this. We're adults. Oh, there we go. I got it. All right. Oh, so he's gone 150.7 miles. Damn, he... Hey, yeah, you be nice to Where's him. Where's his face? He doesn't have one. Oh no. Oh no. He has a story. You hear There we go. Do you see it now? He has a yeah. story. You can pause to read that because we're not going to sit here for 10 years. That's Wait. sick, y'all. That's so cool. He's a little baby. So let's see. Does it say like his current? I don't know where his current location is. Well, I think it, unless he's going for a swim, he might be food. No, he's not food. Penguins are friends, not food. And it wouldn't be a Disney Springs trip without a walkthrough of World of Disney. So let's go in. I wonder if there's anything new in here. I feel like there's always something I haven't seen before. Aw, these are cute. I'm still not an ear person because they hurt my head, but they're really cute. We found the perfect hat for me and for us. The cheese tax. The, <laughs> the cheese tax. I By like way, it. It's cheese. It's very bright. Yes, but oh my gosh, yeah. This is a cheese hat <laughs> from Ratatouille. I like it. Cheese. I have a one-year-old niece and I absolutely cannot wait until she is big enough for these little princess dresses. I'm gonna buy her pretty much every single one. I've stopped collecting lounge flies because they're too expensive and they're just sitting in a closet somewhere, but they are very tempting. There are so many good ones now. Not those, I don't like that one. This just got pointed out to me and I wish that it didn't because I've been looking for this and I really love it and I really, really want it, but I don't know if I can justify spending the money on it. So I put it on and I don't like it as much as I was hoping. The sleeves are really long, the whole like torso is really long, and I don't know, it just like, I don't think so. It kind of looks Let like- Let try it on. Okay. It kind of looks like a smock on me. Like, I feel like I'm going to go paint something. I don't, yeah, I don't like the chest thing. I mean, it looks more normal on you than it does on me, but I don't- the sleeve why are the sleeves so long on it 
Like, and that's, I size down for me. Like normally I had to size up. This was a size down and it still fits really weird. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. You gonna go play baseball? Nah, golf, golf guy. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you could hook out in that. <laughs> oh my god, oh god. I feel really bad for this Mike Wazowski Munchling plush because they have been trying to give this thing away forever. And they still have, I mean he's cute. I'm on a bagel! Alright, go away. But they've been practically begging you to take them. There are still here. so many, and they have more over here, and, the other day. and then a whole thing of them over here as well. There are the so day, many. This wasn't here, and it was another shelf full of them, so I guess they sold some of them. Yeah, I mean, we were here, uh, it was like a week ago, but our camera didn't record properly, and so that footage died, but... They still have Wheezy ice cream. He's the best. They do. But yeah, I feel bad for Mike. Not bad enough to buy one, but you know, bad. Don't he's show my cone to the people! I didn't even know that came oh, off. Oh, well, he's naked. That is so cute. I really want that. I love Wheezy so much. I know, he's the best. In case you guys want to see something cool, this is made out entirely of Legos. This dragon is also made entirely of Legos. Also, there's a little turtle in the water. I don't know if you can see that, but he's there. When we came the other week when our mic messed up and all of our footage was destroyed, Ethan had gotten the Tennessee barbecue dog. I'm going to see if I can salvage that clip so that way you guys can see him trying it or at least see what it looks like in person. But what did you think of it when you had it? Fantastic. Yeah, no, that was actually really good. Good, good. But yeah, so if I can get the clip working, I will insert it right now. All right, so we found a quieter spot so that way we could talk about it and Ethan could try try it but this is the hot dog i'm too picky to ever eat this but you know you're not you so it. how about Absolutely. it now you'll eat anything almost yeah. how is it <laughs> oh yeah i know you're chewing sorry i could probably have like 10 of these really oh it's so good there's like a little bit of spice from the sauce. Okay. There's like a carrot and something else slaw on top. It's really good. There's beef brisket and then, of course, a split hot dog. Interesting. So good. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're either back because you saw that clip or we're still here. But we're going to make one more stop before we go home, and that is to the ganacherie because every single time we come here, we get chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> so let's go do that. While we're on our way over to the ganacherie, I just wanted to show you guys something really cool. The boathouse does these things called amphicars where you can go on the water in these cars. They're just like a boat. It's really, really fun. I mean, I am assuming it's fun. We haven't done it yet. We definitely would like to do this pretty soon. But yeah, so I think it's awesome. I think it's like a 20 or 30 minute tour around the water that's over here. And you just get to relax and hang out in this car. If you want to wait in a really, really long line for an overhyped cookie, you could get in line for Gideon's. And I know that's kind of mean, and I don't mean for it to be mean, but I can't imagine getting in line for like 45 minutes for a cookie. We did once. We did. And that's all it took. And it wasn't fully worth it they to me. They do have this like peanut butter iced coffee that is amazing, but other than that, but I don't it's, think it's, it's worth a the line. With too many chocolate chips on it. Yeah. Oh wait, here I can show you one. This, mm, this is what it looks like. It is. Um, I don't know. It's just got too much going on for me. I bet it's amazing if it's like warm and you eat it with a fork and a knife like an adult, but like me. Like here's another one. This is just like their chocolate chip cookie. I don't know. I just this is too much. I I can't imagine like wanting this much. And now the ganachery, the best chocolate ever. I love watching them work and watch the chocolate come out while it's being made. 
I just want to put my yeah. face under that chocolate fountain. Yes, me too. This is some of the chocolate that they offer. They have a lot, and it's all okay. You really want to show me this whole lot? Well, this. he's shy. Okay. Maybe there's another one. There we go. This is one of those hot cocoa bombs. I'm pretty sure where you just put it in some warm milk or water. And it's got you some like. marshmallows. If you use warm water and not warm milk, don't buy this. Okay. But you have the Millennium Falcon Pops. My absolute favorite thing, which are these dark chocolate crispy pearls. These are what I'm gonna buy. And last time I was here, I bought some for my mom to bring home for Easter because she really likes them now too, since she came to visit. These are Ethan's favorite thing. These are the chocolate covered marshmallows. He says they are the best things ever. Didn't you? Oh. They do also make s'mores. I'm pretty sure they're made to order, so just know that you will be waiting a couple minutes if you get one. They also have some milk chocolate almond nests. <laughs> I don't like almond, but they look pretty good. And then chocolate toffee crunch, and this is what it looks like. Oh, it's not gonna focus, is it? Uh, you get the idea. And then if you're interested, they also sell chocolate by the squares and they have a lot of different flavors and they're all very delicious. I really like the coffee ones. You can also get a made to order drink. Oh, and these are the prices for those chocolate squares along with some beverages. I like the chandelier thing they have in here. What did you end up getting? So this is like a malted milk chocolate chiller I get I don't know what it is someone else got one right in front of me and I'm like dude I kind of need that so it looks pretty tasty <laughs> oh my god is it good? try it yeah this is, is it just chocolate yeah <laughs> oh my god dude. isn't that crazy that is so good oh my god that's good it's just like melted chocolate I mean obviously but Oh, wow. It doesn't taste like milk. It's just, it's literally just like they melted down a bunch of chocolate and put it in a bottle. Oh mm, my god. That is good. And I think this was seven bucks. Oh, that's not bad. So yeah, no, this is, I'm going to get fat today. <laughs> uh, today? Oh. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Hey, little, it's okay. Hi, little duck. We're not going to do anything. It's okay. You're such a cute little duck. Hi. Oh. Hi, duck. You go ahead, run along. And we're coming to you live from the Orange Garage exit. Which means it is time for us to end this video and go home right at the perfect time. Rush hour. Yeah. Can't wait to go sit in traffic for a while to get home, but we have to get home. We gotta feed the cat, do some work, pack, because we're headed to New Jersey for Easter weekend to visit for real family. Pizza. <laughs> yes. Real pizza. Yes. And we will show you guys our trip to New Jersey, but in the meantime, I think the next video we do might be a get to know us just as a filler because also we haven't told you who we are. It's not filler. We're really interesting people. <laughs> totally. But in the meantime, I hope you guys had what? I hope you guys had fun watching us and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.